Hi, welcome back to Stay Home, Make History. In part one, we started to make our Charles I, and we made him a body out of a milk carton, a head out of some newspaper and masking tape, a collar out of a snowflake cut piece of computer paper, and some curly newspaper locks. And in this part two, we're going to work out how to make his face, his hat, and his feather. And I'll also show you some variations that you can make on the same idea. I think I need to trim his hair just a little bit because it's a little bit too long. So I'm just going to be a hairdresser here and snip off the ends of some of these very long locks. There we go. And now we're going to make him a face. Now you can cut the eyes out of computer paper, you can paint them on, or you can just use pen. I'm going to cut some little eyes out of some white paper, but you could cut them out of bits of newspaper using the white part, or you could use the coloured the coloured part. I'm going to stick on an eye, either side of his nose, and then I'm going to let it dry and then I will stick on or draw on the rest of his eye. And then we're going to make him some a moustache and his famous Van Dyke beard, the little pointy beard that appeared in his portrait that we saw earlier on. So we're going to make his moustache and his beard. And I'm going to use a piece of curly paper that I chopped off the end of one of his locks. But to make this look more moustache-like, I'm going to split each end down the middle like this to make it a little bit thinner. I'm not going to cut all the way down because I'm going to leave the centre part whole. So can you see how that's going to give me some thinner, curlier pieces? Let's do the same on the other side. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that piece in the middle that I've left whole. And I'm going to stick his moustache under his nose and hopefully it should curl for me. And now we're going to make his pointy beard. So I found a piece of newspaper that was dark coloured and I've cut out a triangle shape. And I'm just going to make a fringe at the top here so it looks a little bit more like hair around his mouth. So I'm just going to snip a little fringe into this top part. And when I've finished snipping, I'm going to take the centre couple of bits out so that I've got a space for his mouth. There we are. And I'm going to put some glue just at the top, not all the way over the beard, just at the fringy bits and just under his mouth there. And then I'm going to put the beard underneath his moustache like that. And then I'm going to take a pen. Now you could use paint or a little piece of paper and I'm just going to draw in his mouth. There we go. Now you might decide to leave him like that, but you might like to make him a big floppy cavalier hat with a feather. And to do that, you will need a toilet roll tube and a piece of cereal box and the piece of white paper that you saved from his collar. To make this toilet roll tube fit, we're going to need to cut it in half. So squash it down a little bit and slice it through the middle into two halves. You might, oops, you might want to ask a grown-up to help you with this part. And then slice each half in half down the long side. And then you've got two halves of the crown of a hat. And then you need to take your tape and tape the two halves together to make a wider piece. Try it on in and check it's going to fit. Yep, that's going to be fine. So we can tape it together to make it into the crown of his hat. Now to make the brim, you need to put your hat down onto a piece of cereal box and draw around it. And then draw a circle around the edge of that 
to make into the brim of his hat. And then cut your circle out. If you like things to be very, very accurate, you could take a tea plate or something like that and draw around it. To cut that inner circle out, I'm going to fold this in half and slice through the middle of it so I've got a cut to push my scissors into. And then I'm going to cut that centre hole out. There we go. Now to fix these two parts together, the crown and the brim, I'm going to cut a little fringe again, just a small one, roughly the same length each piece. Just do little cuts going all the way around your brim, like that. And then fold your little cuts up so you have a little lip going around the bottom of your brim, all the way around. And then you can pop your brim through the middle of your crown and tape that together. Now when you're using lots of pieces of tape, what you might like to do to speed things up is get all your pieces of tape ready in advance. Because I think I'm probably going to need 10 or 11 little pieces of tape. I'm going to stick them along the edge of my table so they're ready and I don't have to keep putting down my model and picking it up again. So now here you have your, your hat with a brim and a crown but you will have a little piece of paper that you've cut out from your cereal box left over. If you've thrown that away or it got cut up then you can just do another one. But I am going to put that little piece on the top of my hat and I'm going to tape it down all the way around. So now I've covered the whole of the crown of my hat with tape and uh, I've got a plain hat which fits Charles nicely. If you want to, you can add tape underneath and if you want to smooth the whole hat out, you can tape it all over. So Charles has his hat now. You don't have to paint it, you can just leave it like that. But I'm going to paint mine. I'm going to paint it on the top and I'm going to paint it on the bottom and then I'm going to leave it to dry. So while my hat is drying, I've got it drying on the lid of an old ice cream container, I'm going to make a feather and I'm going to take this little rectangle of paper that we saved from earlier on and I'm going to cut it in half so that I have a long thin feather. And I'm going to make a cut about a quarter of the way up and that's going to be the part that we turn into the pointy part of the feather. And I'm going to round the end like that and snip a little V shape out at the bottom here. So that my feather looks like that. And now what you can do is add some decoration to your feather. Colour it in different colours or one colour. You don't have to do that but I'm going to do that now. So now I've got my coloured in feather and I'm going to cut some fringes down the side to make the feathery bit. So following the same line as the angle down the bottom here, I'm going to snip some little fringes all the way along at roughly equal intervals and I'm trying not to cut any further than this central section. I'm going to try and leave a central section that hasn't been cut to make sure I don't accidentally chop my feather in half. So I'm going to snip all the way up And around the top, being careful not to snip right together, so otherwise we'll lose chunks of it, although if we lose the odd chunk it really wouldn't matter. And then we're going to come up the other side, snipping in the same line. I'm going to scruff my feather up a little bit so that I can see those feathery pieces and I'm going to roll this part at the end here over and over so I have a point
pointy part at the bottom, which I can then stick onto Charles's hat, like that, when it's dry. Now you could make, with the other half of your paper, you could make another one, and I've taped that to a pencil so that I can pretend to be drawing with a quill pen. The hat is dry, I'm going to put it on Charles's head, but first of all I'm going to decorate it with a feather and a hat band. So you can find any of your magazine paper um, or wrapping paper and cut a strip in a colour that you like. So I've got a nice picture here of a blue curtain and I'm going to cut a strip of that and just see how long it needs to be. And then I can put a little bit of glue on one end and wind it around my hat and stick it down. And then I'm going to roll one side of the hat up so we can see Charles's face and he looks very fashionable this way. And then I'm going to glue the feather onto his hat. Just put a little bit of glue on that roll we made at the end. Glue that to the brim of his hat and then let the feather stick out around it. And now we can put Charles's hat on his head. And there we have our Charles the First all finished. You might like to make Queen Henrietta Maria, Charles's French wife. And here you can see that I've made this figure in exactly the same way, with long curly locks, slightly more colourful tissue paper, but the same collar and the same head. And I'm going to show you how to make a very fancy 17th century lady hairstyle with our newspaper locks. Once again, I'm going to just trim these ringlets at the front. You don't have to trim them, I just really like doing it. You could make a whole row of these and then play hairdressers. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top of her head, right at the very, very top. And I'm going to take the very, very ends of all the ringlets at the back. I might just trim a few more of them off because they're very long. And then glue these ringlets up on top of her head. Just take the end, twist them round and glue them up. And after you've covered up all of the glue, just dob a little bit more on. And just keep going until you've picked up quite a few of these ringlets. In the 17th century, if you were a woman, you would always have your hair done up in a fancy hairstyle. And if you didn't have enough money to have a fancy hairstyle, you would have to cover up your head with a kerchief, with a cloth. And so it was very fashionable to have ringlets at the front and your hair up at the back.